Hello and welcome my name is Amulli and you are watching TubeMin. In this video I am going to show you how to install Magento on servers so web hosting servers uh, using cPanel interface and before we get started with Magento installation on this web hosting server there are a few things you want to make sure you've got right. So very first thing you need to have PHP 7.3 selected as a default uh, version of PHP not 7.2 not 7.4 specifically 7.3 so go ahead and look for PHP selector and go ahead and choose 7.3 here and set default one other thing that you want to make sure you've got PDO MySQL checked here so as soon as you check it it's going to be set uh, activated all right so these are two things now let's go ahead and verify things here so one more thing that you want to make sure you got your domain added to this uh, hosting account so go ahead and look for add on domains and just add your domain over here so simply type your domain uh, dot whatever it is okay and then hit add domain and you may have to verify your domain on your registrar domain registrars this specific domains dns and then then you are good to go so let's go ahead and install this magento 2.3.5 which is the latest release at this moment alrighty so there are a few things that you need to know in order to install Magento on uh, any hosting server using SoftQLess or any other app installer so on cPanel you've got SoftQLess apps installer you can look for this most probably it's going to be on the very top or you you uh, you will have to look for this particular section like this is a section this is a files section database and then you got this soft QLess apps section and in here you have to look for this e-commerce category and maybe it's available on your cPanel it's available here on the scripts if it doesn't then go ahead and look for this e-commerce and click on it under category otherwise what you need to do as soon as you see this soft QLess just click on it and then go to e-commerce from here and look for Magento and here we have somewhere Magento now once you have selected Magento you can go ahead and click here install now or you can go ahead and check the demo so I'm going to click on ins install now and so this has selected the latest the most latest version of Magento you can see 2.3.5 and this is also selected the HTTPS which is good now you'll have to select your domain name so go ahead and select your domain name from here and this is going to be admin path so I'm simply going to say a job uh, that's basically the domain name and a sample data we are looking for some sample data here over here and then you also need the admin username so I'm going to say a job uh, store that sounds good and then you also need to have this password so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, just jot it down basically so that I don't forget you can go ahead and select a password that must score above 80 and make sure you remember it so make sure your admin name is very unique you've got a password strength above 80 and file name first name is going to okay so you need to give it a name I'm just going to uh, say tube main that's going to be my last name go ahead and give it a valid email address you also need to enter here this valid they, they, they don't need to match you simply have to add email this is going to be for installation details so they will the soft QLess will email you all the information details and this is going to be for your admin username and password in case if you forgot it you can reset it using this email address now go go ahead and quickly check everything make sure everything is all right so you can go ahead and see what other versions of Magento available for you make sure you got the right domain name uh, this is cron job every after this 
number of minutes it's going to perform the cron job and this is going to be admin path for admin and then you got your username password email address go ahead and hit install and this is going to take some time it's a very huge package magento is a huge package compared to other e-commerce e-commerce packages i would say cms is out there it's very huge okay uh, so what it's going to do it's going to install magento and then after that it's going to install the ssl on your domain name so basically name cheap gives you domain name uh, first year for completely free there are other service provider there they will just go ahead and enable this let's uh, encrypt for free forever so that gets auto renewed every time after hopefully after uh, every third month but this one lasts for one year and then you'll have to pay for it okay so that's the SSL now it's almost installed here so as soon as you install Magento on uh, server it's going to give you some errors for sure uh, but we will go ahead and fix that so you can see the very first thing you want to make sure you got PHP 7.3 okay that's the first thing the second thing you've got PDO MySQL extension enabled on your PHP ENI okay now we have this installed so congratulations Magento has been installed you are Magento honor now go ahead and open it this may work may not work on this uh, browser you see connection is not private so what I'm going to do I'm going to use other browser and this is problem with Google Chrome at this moment it collects data and on this domain domain I already had this HTTPS so let's go ahead and have a look at this browser so it's going to completely different response over here you can see and because it's loading for the first time it may come up with some error which is fine but it did not so what error is basically let me quickly go ahead and show you if you're installing it for the first time you may get an error and to fix that error you simply go to your file manager and then uh, look for this uh, folder and then go under this pub and we have errors And you may need to change this so simply local.xml not sample just copy uh, duplicate it and name it local.xml and here we are so it's working perfectly fine and this is magento 2.3.5 we will quickly go ahead and log into the dashboard area so what I need to do to get to this um, admin section you see a job this is for customers only <laughs> and here we are so a job store and then go ahead and take this password going to update it so this is magento 2.3.5 yeah you might get errors many errors okay uh, because I'm installing for for maybe third time and I fixed most of the errors in the first and second time but I didn't expect that I won't get any errors I definitely wanted to show you people how to fix them it's trying to fetch the sample data and maybe the server is a bit down and if you go to Ajob, ajob.org, the home domain, it loads perfectly fine.
since see, you can see how professional look it has compared to other e-commerce platforms so that's the magento stores admin section you can go ahead and have a look at your sales catalog the products and categories customer marketing promotion all the promotion search engine uh, seo email temp what was that google shopping ads design page block and widgets theme uh, reports store attribute set system web index so there has been a huge improvement when it comes to magento 1 and 2 and I highly recommend Magento 2 if you are planning to launch your e-commerce store. So that's it for this video guys. If you have any questions, suggestions or any issue installing Magento, please leave in the comment below. I will try to answer it ASAP. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye for now.